Uh, you can see quickly that iPod has changed to music and videos is a separate app now, just like it is on the iPod Touch and iPad. Uh, on the iPad, however, with iOS 5, the music app's UI has changed. Uh, on the iPhone, it's still the same, however. Uh, instead of the videos tab on the right, right here, it says videos. On the left, it is now genius. So, uh, because obviously because it has a devoted app. It doesn't need to be in the music app anymore. So that is now relegated to Genius Mixes. Um, quickly, let me show you uh, that Newsstand is not working in iOS 5 beta. It just says, quick, I'll just show that what it says. Uh, you, can download, you can download magazines and newspapers in the App Store, uh, but the Store button there doesn't work. It doesn't take you to the App Store, so... In the iBook store, it doesn't work, so newsstand is not functional. Alright, um, Twitter is built directly in. That's another nice feature. So you can tweet from the YouTube app, the Mail app, uh, the Map app, Safari, everything. It's really, really good. You log in once in settings, and it's for everything. So before my phone dies, I'm just going to qu quickly plug this in. i got my charger right there, so it works. Good stuff. Uh... Let me show you. So Safari, here, let me show you a tweet. Um, you just, I'm on technobuffalo.com, but um, here's the ability to tweet, and there's reading list. Reading list allows you to have offline viewing of a page, and reader's pretty nice. I really like reader. Let me show you reader. Reader uh, takes away all the clutter and ads on a website and lets you just read it, like, uh, nice, quickly. Okay. So the page will load, and right in the URL, it'll show you the ability to click Reader. It popped up there and makes it clutter-free. So you see that it makes the font bigger and more legible. Uh, there's actually no font there. Now, now the font loads. Okay, so it fits the screen better. And yeah, good stuff. Um, one iOS 5 feature that's really good is that it's PC-free, so when you take it out of the box now, imagine this, you take it out of the box, you no longer have to, uh, you no longer get the sync to iTunes, you you get, uh, it'll load up, it'll say uh, iPhone, and then it's it slide to setup, and then you set up with your Apple ID, sign in, and you can start as new right there, or sign in uh, and load in from an iCloud backup. Of course, let me talk to you about iCloud. Uh, iCloud was announced by Apple a few days ago, just with iOS 5. Uh, it backs up all your documents, just like MobileMe. It does everything MobileMe does, basically, and more, because it remembers your app data. So, all the apps and the app's data. Like, not just the actual apps. Like, your progress in the apps. It saves all of that, uh, and it does everything MobileMe does. It saves your music and, 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 uh, and your books and everything. But it does everything MobileMe does, too and not for $99, for completely free. So iCloud is definitely a lot better than MobileMe, and it's going to be phasing out MobileMe within the next year or so. MobileMe will be gone, and in the fall, iCloud will release. So uh, here's the few differences I found with iOS 5. You can finally uh, delete individual missed calls. So there's an edit button instead of clear. Here on the right, you see that you have to clear all, uh, but on the left, you can erase individual ones. So that is something I've been waiting for. It's kind of a small thing, but I'm waiting for that for like four or five years. That's a pretty small feature. It should have been there from day one. Um, uh, with iOS 5, you can now do alternate. Uh, so in the Maps application, you can do an alternate route. Uh, I haven't really tried that out yet. I just know it's a possibility. So, okay, so you get stuff, okay. But alternate routes, that's good. Uh, there's still no turn-by-turn -turn navigation, but alternate routes is nice. Um... Built-in dictionary throughout the entire thing, so system level, let's say you wanted to know what the word uh, virtually means, or on live, okay, you can't define that because it's not a word. Um, let's see, enable, let's define enable. Define right there pops up and brings up the dictionary, enable to give the authority or means to do something good stuff. Um, Game Center. Game Center in iOS 4 uh, doesn't allow, it's not really that social. Achievements, it uh, doesn't really show your points, just how many achievements you have. 
now it shows how many points you have. Uh, so apparently 244 achievements equals to, when this loads, somewhere around 5,000 points. You have 5,776 points. Uh, and you see that I now have a profile picture. And on the right, you can't have a profile picture of your friends. Uh, right now, my friends don't have iOS 5, so it shows a blank icon for them. And on the right, it's not even a feature at all, so it's not even there. Uh, game recommendations is something that is available in iOS 5, not even there in iOS 4, and if you click it, you can download the apps directly from Game Center. You don't even have to go to the App Store, so that's pretty good. Um, uh, let's see. Um, the toggles are now circular. I showed you that. Let me just show you in settings. Uh, oh, I really like this. Text shortcuts. So now, basically before... Uh, the autocorrect feature for text messages was like really annoying because if you wanted to talk with any kind of form of teenager slang and you wrote like IDC, it would try to correct you, but that would be I don't care and you want that to be there. Anyway, so keyboard shortcuts. So you can create any of these. BC means because, CNT can't, blah, blah, you get the point. So that works. And I really like that. It makes autocorrect a good feature now. Um... Oh, speak to text. Apparently, they didn't really say anything about it in the keynote, but I think Apple has finally struck a deal with Nuance for uh, speak to text. <laughs> so, the operating system level, at operating system level now, it can speak. So, I'll let it speak to sentence here. Progress to a final product. Unlip has. Okay, so it can pronounce things. And it does a pretty good job. It's legit. It's it, you can understand what it's saying. In settings, you can uh, select the speed of how fast or slow it talks, and it's actually pretty funny because I'll show you. It shows it as either a turtle or a scorpion. <laughs> so that that's the scale. That's pretty funny. But um, sounds uh, actually not. I think it's an accessibility general accessibility. Uh, yep, speak selection. And then look, so it's between a turtle or a scorpion. I put it closer to turtle because it goes extremely fast and much faster than it needs to be. Um, so PC Free also, you can sync and back up uh, directly from, there's iCloud right there, by the way. Uh, so you can sync and back up directly from your phone wirelessly without the wire, well, obviously without the wire. Um, and when you plug in your phone at night, automatically every night it'll do an iCloud backup. So... Good stuff to have. Um, I think that's basically it. Uh, yeah, I definitely showed you that the uh, phone, you can finally delete uh, individual texts. Did I show you notification? Yes, I did. All right, so anything else you guys want me to show you, write it in the comments, uh, and I'll do another quick video. Uh, I'm going to post a video after this about the activation. I'll show you it quickly, what it looks like. All right, bye.